Hello, everyone. How are you? Uh, I cannot tell you how unbelievably weird it is for me to be recording videos of myself, um, but it is the way it is, so we'll get used to it. Um, there is going to be a video a day uh, in, um, I'm not actually totally sure yet while I say this, because I'm going to try recording it in Zoom and then doing something else with the meeting, so, um, or with the video, so I will tell you where these are going to be, but I'm not sure where they're going to be yet. Um, we'll see how this recording goes. But there will be a video of me that you can watch at your leisure. I know that it's difficult to schedule time um, with screens and computers when your whole family is doing lessons and working and Zoom. So um, there'll be the one meeting a week you have to go to with me for book club. And then this video you'll be able to watch whenever you want. Um, so it will be posted somewhere. Um, which I will, which I will get that information to your parents as soon as I finish this and have my husband help me do something with the file. I'm not very good at this stuff. Um, so there'll be a lesson here. The, the lessons on here are going to be primarily social studies or um, writing. So it'll be writing mini lessons and social studies lessons. Uh, and then in reading, or in the book clubs, we'll be, we'll be talking about the reading activities for the week. So that's how the subjects will be covered. Um, I should have written down all my notes of what I wanted to say. I didn't do that. Um, what else was I going to just say? I, don't, I can't remember. So uh, today, for this week, basically what this week is, is um, making sure everyone is happy with their grades. Not gonna lie, I'm struggling a little bit with grade book. There's a bunch of grades in there that I did not put in there, so it's kind of weird. Um, so I just wanna make sure everyone is happy with their grades and feels like they're an accurate you know, reflection of what they did this quarter. And then we'll also be getting, figure, we'll figure out how to use all this online stuff and get you guys used to that. Then next week we'll officially start our fourth quarter unit. We'll be, um, learning about the Civil War, uh, well, slavery and the Civil War, and then reading um, book club books on slavery, um, fiction and memoir, and then we will be writing a research paper on the Civil War or slavery. You'll have a choice of which one you wanna do. So that's what the subjects will be for fourth quarter. And um, like I said, we'll be doing the book club meetings once a week for reading instruction, with also a variety of activities. And then these lessons will be online for you to view when you would like. And then um, I'll be providing feedback uh, as well and hosting office hours from 11.30 to 12.30, which is not currently on the schedule that your parents may have showed you, but I'm gonna add that time on there. And that will be time for writing feedback and any questions that you may have. And that will be in Google Hangouts. So you know, that's a lot of stuff. We'll figure it out this week. We're going real slow. Um, your main jobs will be to attend book club and then watch these videos because these videos will give you instructions on what you should do for writing and social studies. So um, I also just want to say, and I will continue to say this, I know this is a crazy time. I know there's a lot going on in everybody's homes and in everybody's minds. Uh, I as also have a lot going on in my home and in my mind. Um, I know that can be a little hard. Uh, I'm extraordinarily empathetic of that and I'm here for you in any way that you want to talk about any of those things or if you need extra time or if you need whatever, just reach out to me. I will say, I think um, the days I feel the best are the days that I get up and get dressed, do something, go for a walk, read a book, do some work, talk to other people in whatever way I can. So um, to that end, I will be, you know, expecting things to be done um, because I uh, think it's best for you. I really do. Um, I don't want anything that we do this quarter to stress you out. So please, you know, reach out to me if you're feeling stressed out. But also know that um, the, th the stuff I'm giving to you, signing you, working through with you, um, I'm, I'm doing it because I hope that it will 
um, enhance your life and make it better and give you your mind some interesting stuff to focus on. So that's, that's what my goal is over this time. Um, you know, I, I just think it's important that we try and have as much normalcy as we can in the midst of all of this craziness. So, um, uh, one thing that I'm, there's two questions you're not allowed to ask me. <laughs> well, kind of three, um, but I don't think you're going to ask the third one. The first one is do not ask if it's for a grade. If I take the time to give you something, you need to assume that I want you to do it, uh, that you have to do it, that it's not optional, um, that it's something that you need to do. Obviously, if you need help or if you need time or if you need more resources or if you're struggling, then most definitely reach out to me, but the don't ask me if something has to be done. I won't assign you anything that doesn't have to be done. Um, and then also, let's, I, I really don't know the answer about grades. So let's just not worry about grades. Um, let's really truly take them off the table and just do the work to do the work and to learn and be better and prepare you for high school and prepare you for the great beyond. Um, Cause all those things are gonna happen. They're gonna, you're gonna go to high school, you're gonna go to college and the, research and knowledge and reading are all going to help you with that. So, um, just, you know, definitely don't, don't ask me those two things. Um, grades will work themselves out and, um, and then always just assume you have to do, do the thing. The, the other thing that I don't know the answer to, and I, I don't, I think you guys know that is that I know nothing about high school. I know nothing about how they're going to do it for you guys. So don't let, we just aren't going to talk about that because it's not really worth our energy at this moment. Um, so those are the things. I guess I have laid a lot of groundwork um, before that. I you should see how long I've been talking. I can't tell. I don't know. Um, so uh, the other thing, this, so the next thing I want to talk about, kind of like before we um, get started and something to work on this week, uh, and what something depending on what they say for grades, but I'm assuming they're going to require that I do grades. So um, then this would be something that would go into a writing grade is getting your Pulitzer finished. Um, and then we'll have some sort of way of sharing the Pulitzer. Maybe we can do a seventh grade um, Pulitzer event of some kind. Maybe we can even have a host and hostess. I don't know. We, we can see how it goes depending on how long this quarantine lasts. So I, I you're in the middle of, of Pulitzer. you supposed to have written some of it. You're supposed to have finished it. I, I, I'm a little unclear about that. Um, I'm going to go off the assumption that some people are done and some people haven't started um, or have started something that they're not happy with. So I'm going to post, um, okay, this is where I'm going to try and do some technology. So bear with me, guys. I'm going to screen share and you can still see me, right? Share. Oh, there I am. There's my screen. Okay. So I'm posting these. Nope, not that. Um, I don't know how to move this little toolbar. Okay, there we go. These proposals, I don't know if you can see my toolbar on my screen. Um, for there's the already written work proposal that you can see there, the proposal for um, new fiction, and the proposal for new poetry, nonfiction, or memoir. You may remember those from last year. Um, those will be posted. Uh, let's see if I did that right. Those will be posted in. Um, Google Classroom for you, they're not required. You don't have to do them. But if you would like to, if you would like to um, go to them and see um, some organization for, for you know moving forward, if you're stuck, that's a way to go. So uh, like I said, I, I don't know where you started or what was happening when you, what your instruction was when you started Pulitzer. So those are only if you need some guidance. If you don't need some guidance, then, um, and you're done, awesome. We're gonna talk about publishing this week and these mini lessons. Um, if you, um, I say um so many times. <laughs> this is so weird, you guys. I know it's weird for you, but you have to imagine how weird it is for me to sit in my bedroom and talk to a computer. Um, it's very weird. Anyway, um, if you're done with what you can feel like is a second draft, like ready, ready to be looked at, um, I'll be spending that office hour time looking over people who are done. Um, we'll figure out who that might be. I'll start to get a list and start to give you guys some feedback on those things. If you're not done, you should be working on it. I would say, um, what's the date? Today is the 12th. I would say by the, let's say by the, um, 
by like next, like a week from Monday, um, you should be done with a second draft and ready to, to for sure look at it. And then we'll talk about publishing it and moving forward. I'm going to sort of say what I, you know, was kind of saying before, which is that this is something that could be very um, therapeutic. It could be really engrossing. I've seen Pulitzer mean quite a bit to people, a lot of different people, even people who don't enjoy writing. Um, making something feels good. I've been doing a ton of baking. Um, just that step-by-step -step process, it can kind of clear your mind, take you out of your head, take you out of whatever maybe worry or sadness you're feeling. So I think the idea of actually like writing and creating something, whatever you want it to be about, uh, and then actually creating something that you can hold in your hands is just really good for you. So I do expect everyone to create a, a final published piece. If that's something that does not bring you joy, that does not make you it's, you know, causes you stress, causes you anxiety, then, um, then, then it won't be as detailed and it won't be as um, crafty as someone else's. Like I'm thinking of Danica and how Danica's going to draw really, maybe would really, really love to draw super detailed drawings because she has time and really illustrate a story. Whereas someone else um, who doesn't enjoy um, drawing as much might not do that. But so just understand that there's going to be, a, I, I understand there's going to be a variety of things. I also understand you're having a you're going to have a variety of different materials, like your house is going to have, you know, certain things and not have certain other things. And that is fine. So I don't, I don't um, want you to be stressed about that. But I do want you to know that, like, let's make something. Let, let's actually, let's make something. Um, so that will be coming up. But for now, you should either use what you have, make it a second draft quality, or take a look at those proposals. They're just to guide your thinking, help you come up with ideas, and you can use something you've already written. There's, there's one of the proposals for that and sort of move forward um, with that. So that is sort of your writing assignment for today, it being Monday, April 13th, and um, something you should be working on throughout this week. Um, there won't be a ton of other stuff this week besides you'll be starting to read your book club books that you're going to be assigned when you have your um, book club meeting with me and your peers. So, um, you know, don't think like you do have work, you have, you have um, writing work. If you finished a second draft, then, then, then you don't, but, but otherwise you do. Um, so take a look at those proposals and work on that. And um, we'll be talking about publishing and editing throughout this week in these small mini lessons that we're doing. And next week we'll move into the mini lessons will be about um, slavery and how slavery started in the United States and how it affected the beginnings of the Civil War. So I hope you guys are well. Oh, I'm also going to incorporate my puppy into these meetings, but he is currently sleeping because I made him go on the longest walk of his life. For those of you who don't know, I got a puppy. His name is Rowdy. He's really cute. Um, okay, that's it. Send me an email. Um, to tomorrow, tomorrow at 11.30, I will be in Google Hangouts. How will you know about that? I will put the meeting in my email to your parents, and then you will know to join it. I think that's how it'll work. But if you have questions, especially about grades, you can join that. Um, okay, I think this is going to be posted in Flipgrid, but I'm not sure. I'll let you know. Thank you for your patience. We're going to figure all this out.